Jalen Green came out from jump ball, hit the first three in the corner, got everything going. And then you saw the pace going up and down and the Washington Wizards, they came in looking to take this game. They wanted it bad. So it was up and down, threes falling all over the place, back and forth. And the first thing I started thinking about, just like everybody else that was watching the game, that was rooting for the Houston Rockets. Okay, we gotta buckle down. We gotta get some stops. We're scoring, we're looking good on offense, but we don't wanna trade baskets. And that's how it looked in that first quarter. Once the Rockets realized that they had to buckle down and start stopping them, getting to the three-point shooters, running them off, locking them up, getting body to body, rebounding, oh my goodness, rebounding. Things changed very quickly. They were able to stretch this lead out early. They didn't have to wait late. Third quarter, they sealed this deal on going ahead and ending this game. Pulling out a blowout. Everybody produced. Just like last game. I think this team has finally found it now. They're finding their identity. And what is their identity? Run the floor. Spread the ball around. Defend. Rebound. Don't care who scores the ball. But Jalen Green, you have to be excited about what he's pulling off. We haven't seen a performance like this by one guy on a rally of points, shots, in a row, streaking for quarters like this in a long time. Maybe James Harden. Maybe James Harden. But whatever it is, he found it. And listening from his interview, uh, the guy's calm. He done found his place. His happy place is what we call it. He found his happy place. Your own happy place. He mentioned his family. So the guy's in a special place right now. And whatever's going on with him in his life, which is everything is rolling, everything is perfect, hope it stays that way. Because if we don't get this version of Jalen Green for years to come, man, just think about turning over a new leaf. It was just weeks ago. We didn't look like this player. Weeks ago. And now look at him. Calm, relaxed. Seemed like he's been doing this all season long. He looked like a seasoned vet out there with his spots. Yeah, he got sped up a little bit in this game. You know, getting excited. When you start hitting shots in a row, doing everything right, yeah, you're gonna get a little antsy. He wanted to shoot every shot at that point. You know, sometimes you'll get a little speedy, pace up a little bit, but he kept it in the same box, making quick decisions off the dribble, pulling up, wasn't thinking a whole lot, if any at all. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I tell you what, they gonna put up a good fight for that spot. A good fight. Might come up short. But at this point, who cares? They're building something. Next year is looking promising. Very promising. Because when you find your identity and you got everybody involved, and when you got key players that are out, key players who were producing for you, and you still keep the engine running, and you're not missing a step, yeah, that calls for a team that's on the rise. It don't matter who's out there. It's a system in place. You know your jobs and you're doing it. Jalen Green, I'm inspired by your performance. This is the guy we've been waiting on. All year, last year. This is a whole different style right here you playing with. Driving to the lane, I mean everything is aggression. You're driving with aggression, getting hands on loose balls, rebounding, starting to pass out of the double team, recognizing things. You're not just running around with your head down like a lost rat. You know what you're doing. You're reading defenses a little bit now. You're smiling, you're laughing, you're having fun. We waited and uh, I think the time is now. I think he's getting it, he's just now turning it over. Third year, man, like I said, the third year 
is when you find out about a player. It just takes three years. It was a little rocky in the beginning, but this guy's starting to turn this leaf completely over. And the style of play that he's playing with now, whether a shot goes in or not, he's valuable on the floor doing other things besides scoring. That's the body of work he's putting in, where if his shot is not going, he can defend, he can rebound, get loose balls. He still can get his teammates involved. There's other things he can do on the floor if the shot is not going. So we're not worried about him coming in and having an off night. Because if Jalen Green from last year or early in the season, one trick pony, he would have been done. That's not the Jalen Green we're seeing anymore. Not no more here. 42 points, man. 42 points. He could have got 50. Uh, but when everybody got it going and you just running the offense and uh, it's not a close game, you know, you'll fall short of that. But it's not about the 50 points. It's about getting the win uh, for sure. That's the number one goal. And for him to come out of the game confident, knowing that he played well and helped his team win. A man Thompson. We've had records all over the place. Career highs, a man Thompson. 25 points, 10 field goals, he has arrived. And like I said before, this guy is not even really getting plays called for him. It's just all hustle, being in the right spots. Getting confidence, and you can see he's getting confidence. Tell the way he's playing. When you start like arguing calls or when you get hit across the arm, when you're driving and you go into the ref like, hey man, that you're involved in the game. He's starting to get it now. See, in the beginning, when you're a rookie and you're fresh and you're new, you're on the floor, things happen to you out there, you're not really arguing them too much. You just go back up and keep on playing. But now he's expecting to get those calls, letting the ref know, I got hit across my arm. We need to call that. I don't just miss layups. Unbelievable performance from everybody tonight. Everybody. What about Jock Landale? This guy thinks he's Matumbo out there. Seven blocks? Are you kidding me? Seven blocks. Manning the paint. Shangun who is what he's saying. He said, I might not can't put up the points Shangun putting up. But I can rebound and block shots better or the same as Shangun. Early in the season, he was a little off whack himself. Body language wasn't looking good. He's fumbling balls, uh, passes that was right in the pocket underneath the goal. He's losing control of those. He was missing a whole bunch of bunnies up there. He just seemed out of place. He found his place. He found his place. His happy place, like Jalen Green. Your own happy place. Go there, and all your anger will just disappear. Unbelievable performance. 137 to 114. They ran him out of the building. Offense and defense. Defense slacked in the first quarter. They had to find those shooters. It was very loose. They were willing to play an up and down game without playing defense. Till things changed, either MU Doka told them what the deal was at halftime or through the game, or they decide on their own collective units, okay, let's stop them now. Let's go ahead and win the game. Because the Washington Wizards came out wanting to win this game. You can tell that by their body language. They came out looking to get this one. Rockets tuned it up another notch, locked them down. The rest is history. Rest is history. So if they don't make this play in, hat still goes off to them because you can see the change already. They're finding their identity. Shorthanded, they're finding their identity. Love what I'm seeing. We're gonna get into the box sheet real quick. Won't be long on this one at all. Didn't plan on coming in uh, tomorrow. I was going to cover it, but hey, with a performance like that, amazing. Amazing. Let's get into this box sheet. And Jabari Smith, this seems like he's starting to play the quiet assassin. He's just hanging around getting loose chains. That's all Jabari Smith is doing. He don't have to have a high volume of you just going to him, going to him, going to him. Dude is active. 
Longest guy on the floor. Can get his shot off anytime. He don't need 25, 30 shots to be effective. 18 points by him. 14 rebounds. Man, y'all know how I get excited about rebounding by anybody. When you get double-digit rebounds, that just my antennas go up. That lets me know you're working. You're hustling. You got some want to about yourself when you get double-digit rebounds. You want to excite me? Get double-digit rebounds. Pause. You got a steal in there as well. A little off on his three, but still aggressive. 7 for 13 from the field. Outstanding game for Jabari Smith. Not only will we give him a round of applause, for that hard work, we gonna give him an Iron Man. A man, Thompson. You wanna talk about a rookie sensation? Remember folks, this guy's a rookie. This is first year on the NBA floor. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? When you're not even getting plays really called for you and you're coming out with 25 points, a block, two assists, which don't look at that, Later on, he will be picking up those assists. He runs point guard. He's picking up assists anyway. That ain't his uh, role right now. When we got the general out there. That's not his role right now. 10 rebounds by this guy. 25 and 10. Come on. For a rookie. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Huh? 5 for 7 from the free throw line. He didn't attempt any threes. Which, okay. He's going to work on that. He's effective without the three shot. That's what's making this more impressive. 10 for 12 from the field. You want to talk about efficiency? That's efficiency. AT, man. He's going to get an Iron Man and a star for his grit and his offensive performance. An Iron Man and a star. Third guy in double figures in that starting lineup. The man of the hour. Player of the game. The one we have highlighted. Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Outstanding performance. Once he started, he didn't stop. But Jalen Green, 42 points. He got himself a block. He got a steal. I, get, I call out his three assists, even though I win a handful. Because when you score 42 points, you're the player of the game. You don't, all your stats need to be called out. He got three assists, 10 rebounds. Come on. 11 for 13 from the free throw line. That is key. What does that say? Yeah, you're right. Aggression. That means he was aggressive all night long. You get 10 plus free throws in a game, you've been aggressive. You're not just shooting, you're going to the hole. You're getting in there for rebounds, causing fouls. Seven for 13 from the three point line, seven threes tonight, 12 for 21 from the field. He was efficient. Too many Iron Mans and too many stars tonight. <laughs> it's too many. Give him an Iron Man. Give him a star. That 50 piece would have been nice though. That 50 piece would have been nice. He could have got a 50 piece. But he's not a selfish player. If a guy's open, he's going to give it to him, especially with the way they were double teaming. I guarantee you, if they didn't double team at all tonight, the way he had it rolling, <laughs> uh, 
Kobe Bryant and uh, Wilt Chamberlain might have been sweating. They might have been sweating tonight. Oh, that's not good.